Hey guys, it's Sean here at Mahalo.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you an overview of Windows Live Mail and some of its features. Windows Live Mail is a great email client that allows you to view your messages offline outside of the normal web browser you'd be looking at your mail in. Just as an example of this, normally when accessing my Gmail, I'd go to this page, or if it was Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, or AOL Mail, for instance. Although, with Windows Live Mail, you can log into all those services. For example, I have my Gmail set up to my Windows Live Mail, so now all I have to do to check my messages is simply open Windows Live Mail and then hit Send Receive, or I can press F5 on the keyboard. I can also search through all of my mail very easily, and as well as that, I also have a calendar on the right side that helps me keep organized. For instance, I have a meeting today at 6, just from the email I have. Windows Live Mail allows you to take all of your online messages and bring those messages offline. So if you wanted to read them for later, archive them, or save them for any reason. You can also add various accounts to your Windows Live Mail. Say for instance, I wanted to add three Gmail accounts, I can do that with no problem. Also, when writing an email, I can decide which address I'd like to send that email from. Another nice thing about Windows Live Mail is I can add a photo album to my mail very easily because I'm logged into my Windows Live account which allows me to use my SkyDrive to upload those images to, to send it to a person. Windows Live Mail is simply a robust, simple version of what you would find normally online. You may prefer not to use a mail client. Windows Live Mail is just one of many mail clients that are out there, and it's included with the Windows Live Essentials Pack. So you can download Windows Live Mail for free. Another nice thing that you're not really able to do without a mail client is I can compile a message offline and then send it later or save it to my computer and then send it later as well. This could come in really handy if, if you're working on a laptop and you do not have internet access and you'd like to create an email for later, you can simply write up your email, have it ready, and then once you have internet access, you can send that email. Whereas otherwise, you'd have to log into your mail client, which you wouldn't be able to do without internet. That's just a few of the things you can do with Windows Live Mail. And during this course, I'll be showing you more of the features and functions of Windows Live Mail. So if you'd like to stay connected, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.